Hello and welcome back to the channel uh, for a wee run on the Tiger today and I'm up the kind of north uh, west of Scotland up above Port William or on the road that would take you from Invergarry to Kyle of Localsh in the Isle of Skye but uh, I'm not going to go that far today um, I've travelled up this road many times and there's a wee road I've always seen signposted but I've never actually been along it and it was the road to Loch Hurn or Loch Hurn Head <laughs> I'll put the name up there in case I can't pronounce it properly and it's basically uh, reputed to be the longest dead end road in the United Kingdom which is uh, from the junction is about 22 miles to the end which will take you to the, the end of, of Loch Hurn. and it looks like an interesting wee road to go on so in a couple of miles we'll be heading off down that wee single track road with passing places uh, it looks like there's some spectacular scenery so it's an adventure something brand new, somewhere I've never been before. I'm actually out with a group of friends. There's a, so this is where we're going to turn off to Kinloch Hurn on this little single track road with passing places. Left. 22 miles to the end of the road. So let's see what this is like. Never been here before in my life. This is all brand new to me. I did have a wee sneak peek on Google Street View to see what it kind of looked like, and it looked it looked actually quite a great wee road. It looked fun and with some quite spectacular scenery as we get into it. The road surface isn't too bad. There's some gravelly bits on it. Uh, I expect it will be pretty much like this for the the whole trip. We've got six bikes out with us today. There's two Triumphs, two Hondas, one BMW and one Yamaha. A nice wee mixture of bikes. The weather's turned out quite nicely for this trip. It was pretty cold on the way up, I have to say, from home. And we're still going to get home, this will be quite a long day, it'll be uh, 300 odd miles for me. Wow, look at the views opening up now. <laughs> Looks fantastic. Looks a wee bit wet in the, the distance. Yeah, it's quite wild and remote up here. Imagine living here. I'm going to travel in and out this road all the time. It's certainly not a road that a lot of tourists would come along. Road unsuitable for caravans and buses. <laughs> yeah, imagine bringing a caravan along here. Still got about 11 miles to go, so this is about the halfway point along this road. And from what I've seen, actually, uh, on Street View, it gets much, much better the further in we go. And a bit more challenging as well. It's good sitting at the back and watching the bikes snaking through the valley in front of you. us at the top of the dam now. It's the way down there. There's some big hills up here. Oh look at this when you come around this corner. Oh wow wow wow. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. 
I did say it gets better the further we go into it. It's a brilliant country to ride a bike in. Absolutely brilliant. Look at that. <laughs> this is great. The Highland cattle up here on the road. <laughs> this is a true Scottish scene, this one. Look at that majestic beast sitting there. Isn't that beautiful? I love Highland cattle. They're fantastic. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Brilliant. Welcome to the Highlands. This wee bridge here. It just looks away up that valley up there, which is fantastic, isn't it? You see all the way around. The road winds its way up the side there and right round. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it's getting a bit wet now, which will spoil the photographs a wee bit. It's a shame. Is this what I've got to endure just to bring you some good photography and good video? It's a tough life being a YouTuber, you know. But to endure the cold, the wet. Oh, <laughs> oh brilliant, brilliant. Oh, look at this bit here. Fantastic road, eh? It's rough. It looks like it's the sun's coming out again though. We're getting through the wet bit. But what a place! What a place to ride a bike. I'm so lucky. Scotland's fantastic. It just keeps surprising you. It's the country that keeps on giving, that's for sure. Wow, it's come over the hill. And looking down this wee valley and the water at the bottom down there. What a wild, wild place. And because it's a dead end, <laughs> we've got to come back out the same way. But it's amazing how a road looks different when you come from the opposite direction. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, what a road. <laughs> yeah, look at the condition of the road surface. Yeah, a trail bike would be better. Adventure bikes are great. I mean, they're not... There's not one uh, mode where they're perfect in, but they're such a great all-round machine. What a place. What a beautiful wee river coming down there. Look at the waterfall down that bit there. And there's Loch Huron in the distance there. We're almost at the end of this road. And this is the end of the dead end road. This is that was the the longest single track road, or the longest dead end road, I should say, in the UK. And the wee bonus is a nice wee tea room at the end. So we've, so we've all made it. That's Loch Huron across there. This is as far as the road goes. Where those and that's the road we came out of down that through that valley up there, wound our way down down.
that was lunch in the little tea room there. Lunch in there. Some hot soup and some tea. <laughs> there wasn't very much to choose from, to be honest. But it was very welcome what we had. So we're now heading for home. Back up this road for another 22 miles. And then I've got 161 miles before I get home. Yeah, it's going to be a long day. Cause it's just after 3 o'clock in the afternoon at the moment. It's a rough and alley road, that's for sure. Oh, it winds its way up here. <coughs> and it's hard to get a good line in the corners because the road surface is so, so bad. I hope there's nothing coming down. It's like it come through this alley valley here. The rocks. And the road just disappears. <laughs> then you come over the wee hill. This is awesome. Back over the wee bridge again. Look at the cows that are resting for the night. Hello there. Oh, one popped up. There's another one hiding in the, the grass there. Oh, what's happening? What's coming? There's the, oh, there's the big daddy up here. Waiting for us. Horns ready. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. the dam as well. Doesn't that look fantastic? It's a big dam, that's for sure. A lot of water in there. Look at this side of it when you come to the other side, the, the view that opens up. And the road we've got to go along, winding its way along there. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I'm glad you opened it for us. Well, that's us back to Invergarry and the end of the run. I hope you've enjoyed the wee trip along the longest dead-end road in the UK. I certainly enjoyed it. It was absolute fun. It's not the best road I've ever ridden on, but it was, it was worth it. Some of the views were stunning. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Anyway, for now, take care, guys. Ride safe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>